Yay! It seems like, miss, I heard you said I don't look like my Instagram pics is going through it as her husband slash fiance slash Mr. Paid Lobola but didn't Mbesa slash Shubi the gangster taxi driver lookalike is busy, busy, busy getting down and dirty in the streets, just like Mabusi had previously hinted. As if getting booted off the real housewives of Durban wasn't enough, my personal favourite housewife, Londi London, is dealing with her baby daddy's dick-slinging drama. It seems like Shubi is currently placing a dabula from Umdeni lookalike named Miss Tato M on a pedestal as they have been spotted together on several different occasions. Of course, comparisons pertaining to who looks better between Londi London and the Dabula lookalike are being made. And I personally think both ladies are gorgeous in their own ways. Although the Dabula lookalike does have a big fat cat chow. <laughs> Woo! Nevertheless, whether you have a flawless face or a juicy coochie, Men will do right by the ones they want to do right by. And that's on period. With that said, we always know who we're dealing with. No matter how good they are at hiding their true colors. There are always slip ups and red flags and people always show you who they are. The problem is that some women tend to think that Istofu Sabo Sigu 60 and they'll never get played like the ones before them. While others have been conditioned to accept and tolerate cheating and abuse so long as the man returns home to them. Londi London knew that Shubi was married to some beggar zellering woman whom he left behind in the Bundus with a number of children so he could stick his totolozi in city slay queens, allegedly. But she still chose to get booed up with him and gave him not one, but two children before he finished paying his dues. How then did she expect him to be faithful and respectful to her? It's so important for us as women to do some self-introspection and to take responsibility for the role we play in getting treated like trash. I mean, at the end of the day, what we allow is what will continue. Moving right along swiftly, the Real Housewives of Durban viewers are hacked that Londi London, Latongo and Tobile will not be a part of the new season after new cast members that nobody knows have been revealed. Many of us will miss Londi London's fabulous outfits and her witty shade, while some will miss delusional Lassie's lies and fakery. But I doubt any self-loving and self-respecting viewers will miss being recruited into the Begazellering Wives tribe by Tobile. Hopefully, the new housewives won't be as boring as Sorisha Sorasha. I don't, psh, I don't even know her name. Ciao, because oh, Auntie is a yawn fest man. Speaking of yawn fests, Monang Light, aka Lerato Hanyaho, says she's done biting her tongue and Upeka person Ushoni Le. No, this year we respond. Exactly. This year we respond. No, we will respond this year. This year is the year of responding. The narrative that is said or that is being told, they must run with it. And I will keep my mission this year. Any narrative, any wrong narrative, anything false that is said against me, I will fight it because I am tired. I am tired of being a bigger person. I am tired. You even produce documents, legal documents. You'll do this and that and that. Oh, you are lying. You remove yourself from an establishment because now you want to focus on other things. Oh, no, it's a problem. What exactly? What do you, what do you want from me? You're not special. You are not special. 
at all. Men, are you come to me with respect? I will respect you 100%. Those, those that have encountered me know. They know very well. Those that have been around me, those that have experienced me, know very well. Please tell me, what are you asking me? Wasn't it my gift? Wasn't it? I should actually, let me actually open a platform here because I think I need to answer these questions directly. And I want to answer these questions. And the reason why all these journalists and these bloggers and these YouTubers don't want me to reply is because they have a narrative that sells for them. I said the last, uh, the last live that I did, I said, people, if you look at the videos, the most watched videos about me on social media, the most watched videos about me are the ones that are negative. Anything positive that is said about me, nobody cares about it because people are so obsessed with anything that is negative about me. Anything. And nobody knows why. Nobody can say why. People want to harass you and when you respond, but you are weak. I've been quiet. I've been quiet. But you came for double hot tobijan out of nowhere. You must, Mpilo, what are you saying? Have you ever seen me hang around with Debo? Why would I just utter Debo's name out of nowhere? Are you on drugs? Are you on drugs? Like, I just want to know. You know, she knows exactly what she did and we moved on. She, you, we moved on. She knows exactly what she did and we moved on. So, you think, you think when I wake up in the morning and Kroko Meza want to mean? Let's go to lunch. My friends actually are taking me out to lunch. No, this year we respond. Exactly. This year we respond. No, we will respond this year. This year is the year of responding. Because when we are quiet, you guys think you can come here and on top of our heads. No. This year is the year, the year of responding. I will definitely respond. I will definitely. You guys have been running with whatever narrative. And you know what's a fucked up part is that people will come to you and innocently so. I've been in situation, situations at gigs where a person will come and ask me a question. Like, um, and genuinely so, not because they're trying to be spiteful. They, they'll say, um, Oh man, it's just so sad that you are divorced. And I'm like, where do you get that from? And then they say, oh, no, but I saw it on this page. And I, and okay, not everyone is the same, right? Not everyone has the mental capacity to actually say, Guti, no, but this is probably gossip, so it can't be true. There are people who genuinely believe what's written there, and it's shocking. So now I find myself in the middle of a gig explaining to people that I don't have to, but it's people that genuinely love me and want to know if I'm all right, you know? And I'll say, no, but this is what's happening. This is not true, whatever. Removing yourself from the hotel was a good move. It, listen, I removed myself from the hotel a long time ago because I have an alcohol brand that's coming up and I have a lot. And I realized, actually, um, you know, the hospitality industry is not something I'm passionate about. If you realize a lot of things that I remove myself from is things that I'm not passionate about at all. So there's, it's got nothing to do with whatever it is, that narrative that people will start pushing now. It's because I want to focus solely on my businesses that I own in my name that don't have a partner or two or don't have a white person behind them. Nah. Flat up by LKG and Kanyaho Productions. They are mine. That money, the money that's being spent and made is mine. So, yeah. How many kids do I wish to have? As many as God can give me. Ah, it's the year of replying. They, you can, they can get upset. They can call you names. They can do whatever. Tandi drama. Tanda. No. The ones that say Utandi drama are the ones that want the narrative. To remain the same me i will change that narrative as everybody else people release statements about their personal or businesses whatever to correct whatever narrative that's been pushed but me i can't 
why did you leave Tammy Taylor? I spoke about this, I think, already. It was not making business sense to me. I was not making money um, at all. Uh, just also other logistics that were just not making sense. So like I just said now, if something is not making sense to me, I remove myself because it can get emotionally draining. Have you and Musa met face to face? Never. And you know, I keep saying the day that I tell the truth about who and what Musa is and how he will be the day that I'm hoping that we put this to rest because Lomfanalo has been obsessed with me for years. But his obsession with me, he inherited from someone who is late. Suck up to nobody. I've never in my life. Because I wanted people to respect me for my craft. Or not because I don't do that. I don't do that. Some of the questions here are just like Musa. I don't even see. I don't even see them. There's no smoke. All these accusations cannot be false. Way. So guys, go dig. And find out where, where. And when you come, please come back with proof. Come back with proof. With my name on it. Make sure that my name is on that paper, by the way. I mean, I'm here. I mean, I'm very open. I'm an open book. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Hey, yeah, go. Make sure that the fire is coming. I'm waiting. Nah. I'm I want you guys to... And Ninga Tuli, when you find your answers. Ninga Tuli. Ninga Tuli. I'm sending you. Go, go, go. Find out. Ninga tuli when you go find your answers. Ninga tuli. I've had my I've had my, my page on private for quite some time. I'm going to open it. Ninga tuli. Ninga tuli. I'm right here. When you find your answers, nibuye ni ningati. I can see because I realize one thing about you guys that when you find out the truth, then you walk the opposite direction. The truth that does not benefit you. Then you walk, you keep quiet. She came for a number of YouTubers and told them where to get off. She says she is done being bullied and taking the high road and that now she's giving Mang Limang the same energy that she receives. Ning kapa ning, kai kapa kai, njalo. She also makes it very clear that Yena, she's a wife. Not a long-term girlfriend, nor a fiancé, but a whole entire wife. And she has every right to, yet she still doesn't brag about it like the other girlies do. <laughs> DJ Z and <coughs> relationship no i'm not in a relationship i'm in a marriage i'm married on paper if you go to home affairs you'll see my name is Lerato Kanyaho Nlala. i'm not married by affiliation i am married on paper i am a wife i'm southern my sugar binga bungas so share some of your views regarding the topics covered in this video and i'll see you in the next one Mwah!